Hello, Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, my name is Randy. I'm coming here special for you. I'm from uh, Baptist Church from the United States. So, the problem there is, uh, uh, the question is, in the Bible, uh, Jesus often say, refer to God with the Father and teach like uh, He's the Son of God or refer we are the sons of God. The question is, did he really mean to say father and son, or uh, he is really son of God, or it is the Bible that is corrupted, or the translation? That's the question. That's a big question. That's the root of the cause of this confusion. Thank you. Well, uh, the question that Jesus Christ sees be upon him refers himself to as the son, refers to God as father, is he as the son of God? Brother, if you read the Bible, the Bible has got sons by the tongues. It's mentioned in the Bible that Adam was the son of God. It's mentioned in Jeremiah that Abraham was son of God. It's mentioned in the Bible, Israel was son of God, he was the firstborn. It's mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter number 8, verse number 14. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, the sons of God. So if you are following the teachings of God, you are called the Son of God. If I am following the teachings of God, I am called Son of God. So this word Son of God is no problem at all. But the problem is that the church, they very often quote a word of, verse of the Bible. And they say, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. This word begotten, they say, no, 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 Jesus is not like a normal son, peace be upon him. He is the begotten son of God. Now, this verse of the Bible, Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse number 16, this word begotten, according to the revised standard version of the Bible, revised by 32 Christian scholars, backed by 50 different copy denominations, they say that this word begotten is interpolation. It's the fabrication, it's the concoction, and they're thrown out of the Bible as an interpolation. So actually, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a godly person. Anyone who follows the teachings of God, he's called the Son of God, I've got no objection. But that does not make him the begotten Son. Like rightly you said, that if you follow the teachings of God, you are a Son of God, no problem. Like the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter number 8. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, the sons of God. No problem. So this started with the church preaching wrong things. The Bible has got no problem. It is the church which is trying to prove to its followers that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity, which he never did. Hope that answers the question, brother. Yes. Uh, we blame the church for this. Thank you so much. Brother, do you believe Jesus is messenger of God or is he God? Messenger of God. Do you believe that God is one? Yes, it's one. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, he is. So if you believe that God is one and Jesus is the messenger and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God, that means you are a Muslim. Yes. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Uh, sure. I said Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasooluhu. Wa rasooluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may give you more hidayah, more knowledge, Amen. so that you can practice more of Islam. And I pray that it puts you in Jannah the Firdos, inshallah. Amen. Thank you so much, Amen. sir. Are there any non-Muslim sisters?